Hello and welcome. Let's solve this word problem together. But first, pause it. Write it down, think about it, analyze it. You can do it. Give it a shot on your own. All right, so let's read the problem together. So Annette plans to visit an amusement park. All right, cool, cool. so she's going to an amusement park. And she must pay for admission. Dope. And purchase tickets to go on rides. So it's not free. Oh, well. Annette wants to find the total cost for a day at the amusement park. All right, so she's trying to plan for her trip. Um, she wrote the equation C, I guess for cost, as it tells us here, C, the total cost, equals 1.5, I'm going to say $1.50, I'm thinking of money, times X. So that's $1.50 per X plus $12. Um, and uh, they want to know what could the number 12 represent in Annette's equation. Well, I'm thinking here that uh, since it's $1.50 per times x, or $1.50 per x, that's the cost of a ticket, right? Uh, every ticket is $1.50. So I'm thinking x is the number of tickets. They told us that c is the total cost. I'm also thinking, okay, $1.50 is the cost per ticket. And then the only thing left is the $12 that we start with, and 12 I think, is the admission fee. Now, what if I'm wrong? How do I figure it out? Because it feels like guesswork at this point, right? Well, we can plug in some values to make sense of this function. And that's typically what I do in these problems. If I'm not sure what it is, I plug in some values. So let's plug in some x's and see what's going on. Make a little table. x and c. So let's say we have 0, 1, and 2. If I plug in 0, it's 1.5 times 0 plus 12. And I get 12. Okay, if I plug in 1, I get 1.5 times 1 plus 12, which is 13.50. If I plug in 2, I get 1.5 times 2 plus 12 equals, of course, another dollar fifty, which is $15. All right, so what do I see here? I see that if x is 0, that, I, that there's still a 12 here. Now, that tells me if I go on 0 rides, right, then... Um, I still have to pay $12, even if x is 0. So that tells me that um, it's not the tickets I'm, I'm paying for here. It's the admission fee. It's a flat rate. It's constant. If she rides 100 rides, no rides, she still pays $12 to get in. Then I, know, I notice that as I plug in 1, uh, I now have to pay $1.50. Right? So I'm buying one ticket. I'm going on a ride, I guess. Or I'm just buying a ticket. If, it's, if it is one ticket per ride, I just, I, we don't even know that. Uh, I should be careful there. It's the tickets here, right? So zero tickets, one ticket, two tickets. And every time I buy a ticket, the cost goes up by $1.50. So we can see that that's the cost of a ticket. Um, anyway, so I think here that B is the clear answer. All right, I hope this helped.